What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Steyer, back again with another video on the channel. I want to talk to you guys about something different today, man. I'm going to tell you guys what's the best cheap beast to use in this game. If you guys are balling on the budget, I know I was for much of this year. You know, if you're looking for players to use that can compete with the likes of Messi and Ronaldo and Hullet and Vieira, those kind of guys, but it don't cost nearly as much, I got the perfect video for you guys. So make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys have not already. We're about to get right into this thing. I've got a full squad here of some players that I've used personally that are excellent, excellent players that you gotta try if you have not already, if you really want a competitive player to that position. Now a couple honorable mentions first. The first one, um, these guys are actually both from La Liga. The first one here is gonna be carrying Benzema. Now the reason why I cut this card out is because it's a little bit over the price range I'm trying to go for. I'm trying to look for like 150k or less, 160k or less, somewhere around that kind of price range is gonna be my cutoff. And Benzema, I think, is like 168 or so for his team of the season card. And that was an excellent, excellent card. I have not personally used this one, but I've gotten dogged by this card so many times online, man. His right foot is magical, dude. He's got four star, four star, six foot one, 98 shooting. He's got dribbling. He's got the physical jumping. He's got pretty much everything you want a striker. He's tall. He's strong, fast. He's got everything, man. He's got the complete package. He's the perfect solo striker to run in, like, say, a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, some kind of formation like that. I think he's the perfect striker for that formation. But he is going to be one of our honorable mentions. And the other one is going to be Wissam, Wissam Ben Yedder. Another good one, too, but I think he's about 180000 or so. Once again, out of the price range. I managed to pack his team this season on tradable for some upgrade packs. This card is spectacular, and I've not personally used this version of him. I had him earlier. I sold him and got him on tradable, and I haven't put him back in my squad yet. But this card, man, he's 5'7", high, high work rates, right foot. He's got the 5-star weak foot, which is excellent. 4-star skill moves. His shooting's off the charts. His dribbling is amazing. 99 agility, 98 balance. His pace, like everything, man. He's got 99 jumping. Couldn't ask for much more from a striker. I mean, he's not really the solo striker like Benzema is, but if you run him in like a two striker formation, run him at a center forward, even a center mid or a cam, this guy can definitely do work in your squad. So Ben Nader is gonna be my second honorable mention for the squad. Now on to the actual players for my cheap B squad. So we're gonna get rid of him there and get right in this thing, man. So Emery Chan's gonna be our first player. This dude, man, I've used him quite a bit. I packed him probably like five or six times throughout batch three team of the season and stuff. I'm going to put those back in packs, and this dude is absolutely amazing. I love this card, and I haven't used him since I packed him the last time. I did put him in SPCs like three or four times, and I just kept getting them back. And I was like, you know what, I might as well just keep this guy this time. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's six foot tall, he's a tall midfielder. Got the high, high work rate, which is perfect for a center mid like this, a box-to-box -box kind of player. Four star weak foot, which is excellent. Three star skill is pretty basic, nothing special there. But his, his stats across the board are really good. I like this guy on a basic. Boost everything up a little bit more, and he's going to be really competitive. He's got pretty much everything you can ask for. Maybe a shooting, he's a little bit more worried. He's got 69 finishing, which is not great, but everything else is excellent on this card. It's physical, it's defending, even his dribbling isn't bad. So I like Emery Chan quite a bit. He's about 30k or so, so he's very, very affordable. Anybody can go out there and get this card. You can use him in a Serie A squad or a German hybrid. Keeping with the German theme here, our next player is going to be. Ter Stegen, Mark Under, and this guy is excellent. Probably my favorite keeper in the game I've used this year, at least in the, like the end of the game team of the season and stuff. This guy, man, I packed him red. I didn't think it was going to be that special, but he is absolutely incredible. He saved my butt a number of times in weekend league. I believe he had to save with feet straight, if I'm not mistaken, which doesn't show up on this thing. But he is six foot two, not the tallest goalkeeper in the world, but he's got a four star weak foot, one star skills, of course. But his stats, man, like. He's got pretty much maxed out stats on a basic with like 99, pretty much everything that matters. Now, speed isn't great. Now, this guy's only got 44 speed, so he's not going to be like someone like an Ederson we'll get to later. So if you like to move your keeper a lot, this is not the guy for you. But if you don't utilize the goalkeeper movement and stuff, this is one of the best keepers in the game, in my opinion. Now, moving over here, we got Allen. This player, dude, Allen, dude, he is a beast, man. This guy is basically Conte on steroids. He's got the medium high worker, which is perfect for a CDM. He has the four star skill moves, three star weak foot. He's a little bit short now. He's five foot nine, but as that kind of that little midget maestro in the midfield, just kind of doing everything. He makes passes, could kind of link your defense to your attack. He's gonna break up the play. He's got the stamina to run all games. He's got the defending. His dribbling is really, really good. So he's got pretty much everything there. Even his shooting isn't bad. So this guy is everything in a midfielder. He's complete box to box midfielder or a CDM. I wouldn't run him any higher than that. But this guy, man, he's basically like the Conte on steroids. And I highly, highly recommend this dude for about 50,000 coins. You really can't go wrong with a car like that. 
Next to him, we're going to have another fellow Brazilian player, and that's going to be my boy Alex Telles. Now, this guy, one of my favorite left backs in the game, probably my second favorite behind Team of the Year, Marcelo, who I've had in my squad since Team of the Year came out. Um, Alex Sandro is pretty good as well. He has the, the flashback car I like, but for me, Alex Telles is the second best left back in the game. He gets forward, he makes incredible runs. He's got the high medium work rate, which I like personally. I don't really like high high as much. I mean, it's good too, but. For me, high medium is ideal. I like guys that get forward a lot. I like to play very attacking fullbacks. But if you guys like more of a stay back while attacking kind of fullback, he might not be the one for you. But three star skill moves, two star weak foots, kind of, it's not that great. But he's five foot 11. I like his height. He's pretty good. Most fullbacks are in that like five, seven to five, nine kind of range. But this guy's five foot 11. He's taller. He has the height to defend back post crosses. He's got the jumping for that as well. 99 stamina he's got everything the acceleration even his shooting isn't that bad this guy comes forward and he'll hit some bangers for you if you had this guy on overlap and stuff like that so this dude's excellent man's crossing everything you want in the fullback i cannot recommend alex tellis enough as a left back moving on now to the premier league our first option for the premier league we have Jorginho wijnaldum 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 i don't know how you say his name like that but this guy is excellent man He's done quite a bit. He's going to get that hyperlink to Virgil van Dyke, which is excellent. You can definitely use this guy in some kind of hybrids and stuff like that. And he's got pretty much everything in a midfielder. Once again, he's a complete midfielder. He's 5'9", a little bit shorter, but he does have the high, high work rates. He's got the 4-star uh, skill moves, 3-star weak foot. In-game stats look pretty good, man. He's got pretty much 80s and stuff across the board, 80s and 90s and stuff. I would go with the basic, personally, as far as the chem style is concerned. I've been anchoring this guy because I was playing with the CDM. But as a box-to-box -box midfielder, a basic, this guy has high 80s and 90s in all of his stats. So this guy, man, he just does a little bit of everything. You don't run a formation like a 4-2-3-1 that really requires specialized CDMs and cams. I think for a general midfielder, this guy is going to be one of the best options in the game. Staying in the Prem now, we have another goalkeeper I mentioned earlier. It's going to be Ederson. And this guy, if you like to move your keeper, this is pretty much the opposite of Ter Stegen. If you like to move your keeper a lot, this is going to be the keeper for you. He's got 82 sprint speed or speed, I guess, on the goalkeeper. He's the fastest goalkeeper in the game by far. And he's, he's a little bit short now. He's six foot two. Once again, not the tallest goalkeeper. I normally like guys like six foot four and above, but this year, Ter Stegen and Ederson have been exceptions. They've been incredibly valuable in my back line. So I, I definitely like using these guys quite a bit. He's three star weak foot. And you can't really see the in-game stats though, he's a goalkeeper and stuff. But if you like to move your keeper, man, if you like to rush your keeper out with a triangle or the Y button, this dude is the keeper for you, man. He can bail you out. You can run Ederson instead. I would highly recommend running Ederson because he's a much better goalkeeper than Allison. Even better than David De Gea and some other options like that. So definitely check him out if you have not already. Moving on now, we got Axel Witzel, man. This guy, once again, another complete box-to-box -box midfielder. He has a little bit of everything. Four-star, four-star, and he's very tall, too. This guy is six foot two, medium, medium, which is not terrible. I mean, it's not great either, but... It's decent for a box to box center mid, medium, medium is going to be acceptable work rate for that position. But the four star, four star is incredible for a guy like this, where that height that can move the way he does. He's got the long shots, the shot power, just a little bit of everything, man. His physical is excellent. Defending is really, really good. So as a CDM, as a center mid, box to box midfielder kind of player, this dude's going to get the job done. Now, he's not going to work as a cam, but as a defender with that, just the big body and stuff, man, he's going to definitely bully people off the ball. He can keep people guessing with the skill moves. So he's got a little bit of everything, man. He's quite an unpredictable player, and I like him quite a bit. I believe he's just under 60k in the market, and for that price, I think he's a steal. So you should definitely pick that card up if you need a good box-to-box -box midfielder. Staying in the uh, Bundesliga now, we have Kimmich. Now this guy, one of my favorite right backs. I like to play very, very attacking football. So my fullbacks bomb for. I got these guys on like join the attack, overlap, stuff like that. I like to get them forward. I don't ever have them on stay back while attacking. I like to get them forward, man. You gotta have options, especially when everyone's playing the 4-2-3-1 narrow. They like to have everyone kind of on drop back and stuff. You gotta have a lot of numbers to break down defenses like that. So Kimmich, is the perfect kind of player for that kind of thing. He does a little bit of everything, man. He's a, almost like having a midfielder, an extra midfielder out wide as a fullback. He does a little bit of everything, and he makes your offense run just that much smoother, but he's no slouch on defense either. He's five foot nine, a little bit shorter, high low work rates, which is kind of strange. I, I know it's weird, but look past the work rates, all right? I've used Marcelo before. Marcelo's like one of the best left backs in the game, and he also has high low. So don't worry about the work rates too much because they really don't matter all as much as you think on the fullback. Four-star weak foot, which is excellent. Three-star skill moves, and his in-game stats are really, really good. The crossing, 
the stamina, jumping, defending, dribbling. He's got pretty much everything, you name it. This player is so incredibly versatile. You can play him as a right back, a left back with a four star weak foot, center mid, CDM. You can bring this guy off the bench as a super sub. He does pretty much everything, which I've been saying about a lot of players so far on this list. But this guy, man, he really embodies that Swiss Army knife kind of mentality for a player. He does everything. And I cannot stress how important it is to have fullbacks who can attack because everyone's playing drop back, park the bus, and you got to find a way to break down the defenses in this game. So keeping with German Bundesliga defenders, we have Halstenberg. Now this guy, I don't have him in my club currently. I'm going to put the concept player in there. This guy's a left back by default. He's six foot two. He's very, very tall. Defend the back post headers. He has the high medium work rate, which is excellent. Left footed, three star, three star. I like that. End game stats look pretty good. Now his pace is a little bit slow compared to some of the other team in the season uh, fullbacks, but you can fix that with the camp style like an anchor or shadow. Now the thing I like about this car is that I think he actually might work better as a center back, which is hard to believe, but as a left back, he's, he's decent. He's, he's kind of tall, but he's a little bit clunky though. But as a center back, that clunkiness factor doesn't really matter as much. And I think he's got the height for it. He's got the defending, he's got the jumping for it. And his pace doesn't matter as much when he's in the center of the park versus if he's on the wings playing against, you know, the guys like Neymar, stuff like that, and Bappi out wide. So I think he works better as a center back, which is a very, very weak position in the Bundesliga. So you might need center back options. And for someone like Halstenberg, I think he's about 40, 50,000 coins or so. You pretty much can't get a better option than that at either left back or center back. Keeping with the German players here, we have Danny DaCosta, a right wing back by default. Now, I had one before, but I think I put him in the SBC. This guy is probably the best right back in the game. If you like to play your fullbacks on uh, stay back while attacking, if you like to have them stay back and act more as a wide center back and not so much getting forward and attacking, sending and cross and stuff like that. He's high medium, but he is six foot two. Once again, this guy is a giant, man. He's six foot two. And this is another player I believe can work as a center back or a fullback. Pretty much whatever you need, this guy can do it. He's got 99 sprint speed and crossing. He's got really, really good defending and physical stats. This guy pretty much has it all for a defensive minded fullback. Getting four is gonna be a little bit weak. He's really poor shooting, but over all this guy's gonna be the best when it comes to defense you're not gonna get past this guy he's got the pace he's got the strength the defending there's just no way to get around this guy man he's the absolute brick wall at that right back or right wing back position the final player from the Bundesliga we have is gonna be Julian Brandt and this guy man I think he's the best budget cam in the entire game I think it's about 60,000 50,000 coins or so somewhere around that price range and for what you're getting man this guy really isn't that far off from his teammate, Ty Havertz. And I know Havertz is like one of the most popular meta players in the game. He's got the five-star weak foot, in, and that's that's great. But this guy, if you compare their stats, they're really not all that different. Now, he doesn't have the five-star weak foot, but he does have the four-star, four-star combo, which is excellent. Six foot one, he's not a short dude by any means. Medium, medium work rates, but I think it's the same as Havertz. And his in-game stats are incredible, man. Look at his shooting. He's got 92 finishing, 94 shot power, 92 long shots. He's got the sprint speed, he's got stamina, jumping, a little bit of everything. The dribbling is off the charts at 98. So this guy, if you want Havertz but don't want to pay Havertz money, this is the next best thing you can get. Speaking of underpriced cams, we have Bruno Fernandez from Liga Nos. Now this guy might be a little bit hard to link overall. He's not from a popular league like that. It's outside the top five. But Bruno Fernandez is an incredible, incredible cam. I've used him quite a few times and I don't have him currently right now, unfortunately. I put him in SBC. But this dude is excellent. I think he's one of the best cams in the entire game. He's five foot ten, high medium work rates, four star skill moves, three star weak foot, and look at the the shooting, the passing, dribbling. That's what you want from a cam. You want a guy who can shoot, that can pass the ball to set other players up, and can dribble to find the open spaces in the defense. So this guy has everything. When you put a maestro on this guy, you can pretty much max out those three stats. He's got the free kick accuracy, shot power, long shots, the short passing, long passing curve. What else do you need from a cam, man? This guy does everything. Speaking of Portuguese players, we have another Portuguese player in the squad here who I believe is the second best right back in the game, and that is gonna be João Cancelo, who just transferred, I believe, to Manchester City, which is unfortunate, because I really like this guy in Serie A. One of the best right backs in the world, in my opinion. He's brilliant, bombing down that right-hand side. Not the best as defensive duties, but really the modern fullback, it's all about attack in this day and age. So this guy, probably the best attacking fullback in my opinion that you can buy right now. My favorite overall is gonna be Florenzi, because I like his shooting and stuff, but this guy, I think he's the second best overall. I mean, six foot tall, he's got the height to defend the back post headers. High medium work rates, he's got the four star skill moves. I like that, man. Four star skills on a fullback is incredible. You don't really expect to see that all too often. Three star weak foot, and his in-game stats are amazing, dude. He's got the 99 shot power, 
His pace is nearly maxed out. His defending is really, really good. 93 defending. He's got 88 drama, which he can boost with the chem style like a marksman or an anchor. His dribbling is pretty much off the charts. He's 95, which is about the best you're going to see for a fullback. So this dude has a little bit of everything in the passing. Even his shooting isn't that bad. So I like this guy quite a bit. If you like to play attacking kind of uh, football with your fullbacks, this is probably the best attacking fullback in the game. Moving on now, we got somebody who's a really, really good center back. I guess keeping with the Serie A defenders here. And that's going to be Armando H to the Izzo. Now, I don't have this guy personally in my club right now. I think I put him in the SBC. But this dude, he's six foot tall. He's not the tallest center back in the game. He might get dunked on, but he does have really good jumping to make up for that. He's got medium medium work rate, which is okay. Four star weak foot, which is really, really good. You can play this guy as a left center back and have no issue with him there. He has really, really incredible stats in game. His pace is pretty good. His defending, if you put an anchor on this guy, with an anchor, he has maxed out defending. Every stat's a 99. His jumping goes, I think it's a 99 as well. His strength is close to maxed out. This guy is the perfect center back for a budget squad. He's about 61,000 coins on PlayStation right now. And for that price, you can't get a better center back, man. This guy plays like a 400,000 coin center back, but for only 61,000. So I cannot stress how excellent this guy is at that position for a budget squad. Definitely recommend getting him. Another good center back that I like that's very, very similar to Izzo is going to be Hermoso. Now this guy, uh, pretty similar, man, but he's about half the price. He's about 30,000 coins right now. Well, he's Spanish. He plays in La Liga, so it means he gets a lot of great links to players, you know, like that and stuff in La Liga. He is six foot tall. He got the medium, medium work rates. He's got the four star weak foot as well, which is excellent. This guy has 91 pace by default. Now his physical and his defending could be a little bit better. I think I'll go with like a Sentinel on this guy or an anchor, maybe to boost that up a little bit. But if you put a proper chem style on this dude to boost up his defending and his physical stats, he's gonna be one of the better center backs in the game. And for only 30,000 coins, you cannot get a better center back at that price. Up next, we got the most consistent finisher, I think, in this game, and that's gonna be Quagliarella. Now this is a really interesting card. A lot of people kind of overlook this one because he's like, he was really cheap. And here's the card that I packed when he first came out. And this guy, man, 120 matches I played with him. He has 76 goals and 28 assists. So this guy is excellent. Four star, four star, medium, medium work rates. And his in game stats, dude, for his finishing and stuff, he's got 93 finishing, 99 shot power, long shots, 95 positions. His shooting stats are like pretty much off the charts, man. You don't even need to touch those for real, for real. His pace is pretty decent, could be a little bit better. But his finishing, his passing, his dribbling is really good. This guy can play a cam, he can play striker, center forward, pretty much anything in that attacking front line. And his physical stats are surprisingly good. This guy has 98 strength and 89 jumping. With the marksman, this guy is going to have pretty much maxed out strength and jumping. And this guy can be a target man, he can be a center forward, a cam. He's just so versatile and he does so many things in your attacking line that I think this guy is a must-have in a Serie A squad. A similar play that we got to feature in the squad is going to be Robin Van Persie, a player that, as an Arsenal fan, I hate to feature in this squad, but he, he warrants a place in here, man. I used his card a little bit earlier in the game, and he was absolutely incredible. He was banging in long shots off the post and everything. Pretty affordable at 74,000 coins in the market right now. He's six foot two. He's a really, really tall player. Medium low work rate is not ideal, but I think that's the same as Ibra. So if you guys used Ibrahimovic, you might be used to using a player like this. Three star weak foot, which is not great. Four star skill, which is pretty cool. And looking at the in game stats, his pace definitely needs work. You definitely want to put something like a Catalyst or Hunter on this guy. His shooting stats are pretty much maxed out, man. He cannot get much better than they are there. His dribbling stats are pretty good as well, minus the balance. His physical is actually surprisingly good once again. He's got the 99 strength on him. He could have better jumping, so you might want to boost that up with like a Marksman, something like that, to kind of boost that up. But aside from that, man, this card is incredible. He's a really good target, man. As a solo striker, this guy can definitely get the job done. So I highly recommend this guy if you have like an Eredivisie or a Dutch hybrid squad. Going back to La Liga now, this player is a very interesting one here. He's kind of like Allen, but at a different position. And we have Gene. Gine. I don't know how you say this guy's name, but he is definitely a player that I think got overlooked quite a bit because of his position. He's like five foot nine playing center back, and I know it's a short short player for that position but if you look at guys like Cannavaro man Cannavaro works just fine at that position even though he's kind of a short player but he has the really good jumping to make up for it and this player is no exception he's got the jumping to make up for it he's got the pace he's got defending he got the physical medium high work rate which is excellent for that position he's a four star weak foot and two star skill moves which is great but this guy I think he might actually work better as a CDM this guy is kind of like Allen once again or Conte if you can find a way to move him up in the midfield, and say if you have like someone like Casemiro who's kind of slow in the midfield, I would say move Casemiro back to center back and play Gine at like a center mids or CDM kind of role. 
and you can definitely do some work with them in that spot. So moving on to League On now, this is our first League On player of the video, I believe, and this is probably the best passer in the entire game. I kid you not, man. Teddy Safanir, which I only have his inform, I don't have his team of the season right now. This guy is the best passer I've used in the entire game, bar none. Like when I say, I mean, passing normally, you guys are like, whatever, passing, who cares about passing? I got players that have like 60 passing, 70 passing, and they can still pass just fine. But this guy is the first player I use where I actually said, wow, this guy's passing made a difference. He was passing players open. He was making these incredible threaded passes through like two, three defenders and getting these crazy assists that he just had no business getting. Like, it felt like no other player could have gotten some of the assists that he got. So this dude, man, he's got 97 passing. His short passing, his long passing is really, really good. His free kick accuracy is maxed out. Ninth is curve. Got the 99 vision. This dude, man, is a maestro if I've ever seen one. He's a CDM by default. He's not a Conte kind of player. He does not have the jumping. He does not have the heading accuracy and stuff. So don't play him as a CDM. Play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder or as a cam if you want the best results with this player. He's kind of short. He's five foot seven, high medium work rates. Three star, three star is not ideal, but it really does not matter. For this kind of player, man, the passing is what sets him apart once again. His shooting isn't that bad either. If he boosts his shooting a little bit more and his pace, I think you have a very, very good cam that can definitely wreak some havoc on the opposition defender. So definitely don't overlook this guy. If you need a French midfielder, I know you got the Vieras and Pogba's and stuff like that, and that, that's fine. But if you want a budget player that can compete with those kind of dudes, I'm telling you, man, Savonier is definitely the dude. Sleep on this player at your own risk. I'm telling you, man, he is the truth. Next up on the list, we have Thiago Mendes. Now this player, I will explain a little bit more about him, but I want to kind of move this video along a little bit more quicker. So I'm going to say he's basically like Ronaldo who plays in League 1 and he's Brazilian. If you want a good link to guys like Neymar and stuff. So this dude's pretty good, man. Pepe, Neymar, he gets a lot of good links in League 1. And I'd highly recommend trying him out if you want a good budget midfielder who plays in that league. Speaking of Pepe, we got to put Pepe in the squad. This dude is way too cheap, man. He should not be this cheap. I don't understand... Why? And I know Bash 3 just completely screwed with the pack weights and stuff and made everybody like super common and stuff. But Nicolas Pepe, man, he's an Arsenal player now, which I'm excited about. Cannot wait to see what he can do with this squad. He hasn't quite gelled with the unit yet, but I think giving him a few more weeks, he's definitely going to show what he can do in this league. But overall, though, man, Pepe is an incredible player. I highly recommend using him. He's the inverted winger. He's going to be left foot on the right side. He's going to cut inside and finish on his left. He's got the four-star skill moves, the three-star weak foot. His in-game stats are absolutely incredible. He's got the pace, he's got the shooting, the dribbling, the passing. Even his physical is really good, man. 99 jumping and 82 strength with 99 stamina. Guys, I'm not exaggerating when I say that this guy is one of the top three right mid slash right wings in the game. He's only 85,000 coins. Go out and pick up this player if you have not already. I don't care if you can't run on 10 cam. Run this guy on 7 cam, 8 cam. It doesn't matter, man. This guy's gonna bang in goals for you from that right-hand side. So definitely get this player because he has no business whatsoever being this cheap. I'm trying to tell you guys. Another player that has no business being that cheap is gonna be Angel Di Maria, who's, he's kind of slept on, man. I know everybody wants to get Neymar, everyone wants to get Mbappe, and that's understandable. Man. Those guys are like the best at their positions. I think they're really, really meta players that you see a lot of the pros and stuff use. But Angel Di Maria is really not a bad option either. He's only about 100,000 coins, 105,000 right now. And he's, he's great, man. His, his only weakness, of course, you guys know, is going to be his two-star weak foot. That is horrible. Don't try to do anything on his right because it's just not going to come off. But on his left foot, man, this guy is absolutely magical, man. He's got five-star skill. He's got the really good dribbling and stuff. He's going to keep defenders guessing with his array of skills. He's got really good shooting, uh, his passing as well, his pace. He's got a little bit of everything there. Even his physical with 90 jumping isn't that bad. So this guy can play as a striker, can play as a center four or as a cam, or even a winger if you move him in game. So this guy does a lot of good stuff, man, but you definitely gotta keep him off that right foot. But if you manage to do that, man, this guy's gonna be one of the better attackers in the game. And finally, we got the most expensive player in the squad, but I think one of the best. This dude blew me away, man. I used him in weekend league last weekend, and he was absolutely just tearing it up, lighting up people left and right, hitting long shot bangers. He had free kicks for me. He got so many assists. He did pretty much everything, man. This guy's like an iPhone. Gomez, man. Go. He's a little bit expensive. He's about 158,000 coins on PlayStation, 138K on Xbox at the time of recording this. But Gomez is absolutely incredible, man. Definitely I get Alejandro Gomez. Four star, four star high medium. He's only five foot five. This guy is definitely really short. So don't try to bully people with this guy because it's just not going to work. I mean, he's going to get body in midfield. It's more of a finesse play. He's going to weave in and out defenders. He's going to set up players for the assists and stuff. He, he does a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean, he's the perfect cam in my opinion. His passing, his dribbling, his physical dude. Like they don't get much better than that, man. With the maestro or a dead eye, something like that. This guy is going to be just hitting everything. He's going to hit long shots. If you leave this guy open, even the slightest amount, he's going to bang in the long shot. 
He's got the free kick accuracy to hit pretty much anything within like 30 yards. His pace is close to maxed out and he's got the stamina to last the full 90 minutes. So this dude, man, for that price, you pretty much cannot get a better cam. I like him even better than Julian Brandt and Bruno Fernandez, who are pretty decent options at that position. But for me, when I use Gomez, this dude was a step above those two. It was pretty noticeable too. So definitely check out Gomez if you guys have the coins and you want a solid attacking midfielder option in your team. But that is the full squad. So hopefully you guys, you know, if you're looking for some good budget options, you try out one of these dudes, man. And let me know how they play for you. Let me know if you enjoy any of these players or if I miss somebody, man. If, if I missed a player that you really enjoy using that's like less than 160,000 coins that you really, really like, you know, let me know. Let me hear about that down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Thank you all for watching this video. Stay tuned and I will see you next time.